Hello everyone, welcome to your weather forecast. Happy Sunday. My name is Mr. G, your meteorologist with you once again as we talk about the remainder of today and a look ahead at the week that's upcoming. And we're going to talk about the weather that is making an impact in the areas where you are. So let's jump right into that weather forecast. And thank you if you're watching me on TikTok and YouTube. It's going to be on plat both platforms. Don't forget to leave likes, comments, and feel free to subscribe as well to both platforms. So let's jump into our weather forecast as we talk about what we're going to be seeing for the remainder of today. We do have that severe weather that's impacting the weather across the southeastern US. We have a very large front in the area that is extending from Canada where we have low pressure moving across the Midwest and that front extends from the Great Lakes down into the Ohio Valley as well as into the Southern Plains and then it curves back around into the Rockies up to the Northern Rockies and off the West Coast. So we have a far-reaching area of weather to contend with here and we're going to be seeing those severe thunderstorms across the southeast and the southern Appalachian Mountains but if you're in the Atlantic area in north in the Atlanta area in North Georgia you're going to be dealing with the potential for some very heavy rain and flash flooding we could also see some heavy rain and flash flooding across the high plains of Colorado so Denver folks in that area we're going to be dealing with some uh, flash flooding from some very heavy thunder storms and some severe weather this afternoon. Scattered showers and storms is going to be possible from the Northern Rockies and the Great Basin, the, the Sierra Nevada, even across Southern California, you have the potential for a stray afternoon thunderstorm, but we're going to see more focused thunderstorm activity along the frontal boundary and through the Midwest and into the Great Lakes and into Southern Canada, where we're going to be seeing the potential for some showers and thunderstorms storms this afternoon. Now tomorrow we're going to see that front slide a little bit further to the east. That low pressure is going to be across parts of southern Canada through the Ontario area. So if you're in Montreal or Toronto, you're going to be dealing with some rain showers and that's going to encompass the entirety of the Great Lakes region. And we're going to be seeing thunderstorms from New England through the mid-Atlantic, down across the southeast, the Gulf Coast, through the lower Mississippi River Valley, the southern and central plains, the high plains of Colorado, um, as well as through Wyoming, Montana, um, uh, the state of Idaho, parts of eastern Oregon, Washington, California in the Sierra Nevada and the Great Basin of Nevada as well as through parts of Utah. We could see a couple of areas where we might pick up some snowflakes early in the morning and in the overnight hours but nothing uh, too spectacular but some white flakes could come down through with some of that moisture as well so that's what we're going to be seeing for your Monday beautiful weather across the plains the high plains and the upper Midwest and then dry weather across the desert southwest into southern California as well with relatively comfortable temperatures for this time of the year also a bit cooler across the southwest we're not seeing those triple digits in, in parts of Arizona and California like we normally see. So Phoenix and Palm Springs are about 10 to 15 degrees below average for this time of the year. And for your Tuesday, that beautiful weather is going to continue across the upper Midwest. Boy, it's going to be glorious across the high plains this week as we move at least through the beginning of the first half of the week. But we will continue to see those thunderstorms across the Northern Rockies, the Great Basin, the Sierra Nevada, and we're going to be seeing those thunderstorms across the High Plains and those fleeting snow flurries as well across Colorado. And then as we move across the Central and Southern Plains, we're going to be seeing those severe thunderstorms and then parts of Northeastern Texas there, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, into Shreveport, Louisiana, and we're going to be dealing with heavy rain that can lead to some flash flooding for you folks across the Mid-South there. So uh, Atlanta, Georgia, 
uh, Mississippi and Alabama right along our frontal boundary is where we can see heavy rainfall and then we're going to see more of those showers and storms in the Great Lakes that's going to provide some relief for how dry it's been and clear out that dust and smoke in New England and the Northeast and also provide cooler temperatures and much needed rainfall for your Tuesday. Uh, that'll do it for the TikTok portion of the video. If you're on YouTube, you're welcome to continue watching as we move through the rest of the forecast and talk more specifically about things that's going to be happening from region to region as well as take a look at the tropics. So here we are with our overall pattern for the beginning of the week for Monday and through Tuesday and we're going to be seeing that oh that uh Rex block in place across the southwest that's going to lock up the heat across the Pacific Northwest so we're going to see it quite warm for Seattle and Portland and the Cascades region so it's going to be quite warm there as that bubble is going to be locked in place very cool across the southwest for this time of the year now it's not going to be cold but you're not going to see those triple digits like we typically see in places like phoenix palm springs and las vegas we're not going to see those 118 degree temperatures we're going to be in the 90s which is warm but not as warm as we could be across the southwest now we will have that frontal boundary kind of wandering around in place through uh, the high plains it's not going to be moving around too much it's going to wobble back and forth so we're going to be seeing uh, thunderstorms fire off periodically through the week and some severe storms is going to take place across the high plains we're going to see those severe storms right where our jet stream energy comes into play across the deep south here we're going to see those severe thunderstorms through the mid part of the week and we're going to see more of that energy shooting up the northeastern coast so we're going to see those rain showers and thunderstorms all the way up into new england as well here we are as we take a look at our severe weather threat as we move through the remainder of today so into tonight we're going to see those severe thunderstorms across parts of the Appalachian Mountain Range the mid sections of the Mississippi River Valley as well as the eastern areas of the Ozark so parts of Missouri Arkansas northeastern Texas northern Louisiana Louisiana we have uh, Mississippi Alabama as well as Kentucky and Tennessee could see those severe thunderstorms tonight and that is going to be bringing some hail damaging wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour that's going to be the primary threat not to mention heavy downpours as well so as we talk about tonight as far as the other end of the front is concerned across the high plains so this is going to bring us into colorado maybe uh, extreme western oklahoma north texas extreme northeastern new mexico and maybe a bit of colorado and kansas as well is where we're going to be seeing the potential for a tornado so a tornado is going to be possible as well as downpours capable of flash flooding some hail as well as damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour i think this is going to be our more interesting weather tonight it's going to be across the plains then for your day on monday we're going to see that severe weather start to encompass a larger area we're going to see it also continue across the high plains of the central plains and we're going to see it spread down into texas so the dallas fort worth area we're going to be seeing that increased threat where we have a moderate risk for severe weather that's going to provide some hail isolated tornadoes damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour and heavy rainfall and that is going to spread eastward as well along toward parts of the Gulf Coast which includes New Orleans and Biloxi, Mississippi is where we can also see that potential for some severe weather and then on your Monday night along the eastern seaboard so the mid-Atlantic states 
we have that frontal boundary in place. There is a weak area of low pressure in this area. We have a short wave uh, in this area. So we're going to see an enhanced risk for some severe thunderstorms along the mid-Atlantic coast. So we're going to be seeing some hail, damaging winds up to 60 miles an hour is going to be possible for you folks. But I think this is going to be more isolated events of severe weather with this area. Severe weather is going to be possible Tuesday and Tuesday night again across the, the Ozarks. So this is mostly the Ozarks and parts of the lower Mississippi River Valley. So which is Alabama, Mississippi, parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, and Oklahoma where we can see that potential for some severe weather where hell will be possible. Localized flash flooding from heavy rainfall and damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour. The tornado risk is going to be quite low, so we're not worrying about that too much. But there is the look for that severe weather for your day on Tuesday. Now we have our progressive storm system this Tuesday, Wednesday, no, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The map is not right, but Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, this is the progression of that storm system along the East Coast. And that front is going to be uh, moving offshore when we get to Wednesday, and we're going to be seeing that front still hang out across the southern U.S. So the south, extreme southeast, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, that frontal boundary, that tail of that front is going to continue to kind of wobble and wag or lag around your area. So you're going to continue to see the chance for showers and thunderstorms throughout the week as that front will be in the area and, and, and affect your weather. But if you're in the Northeast, we're going to see things clear out as we move to the middle to the end of the week and conditions cool down. It's going to be quite nice as you end the week across the Northeast and we clear out some of that smog, that poor air and that dust from those fires up in Canada. So here we are as we take a closer look at Tuesday as that low pressure area over the Great Lakes is going to uh, sweep through, bring some rain showers across the Ohio Valley, much needed rainfall, and we're going to be seeing it pleasant down across the mid-Atlantic states as high pressure moves in behind that area of low pressure. So we're going to see a nice cool breeze replace this low, and there is our front across New England. That's going to bring more rain showers over that way and help to clear out the dust and the, the smoke from the fires from Canada. Here we are, now let's talk about the tropics. So the tropics, we have an area of disturbed weather from parts of Bermuda all the way down to Jamaica. So everywhere in between that, we have these areas of thunderstorms, these clusters of storms, but there's a lot of wind shear because of our advancing low pressure, our front coming off the US, that's going to move out over the Atlantic and the jet stream nearby. So that, that's going to inhibit uh, meaningful tropical development, but we'll still see those clusters of thunderstorms over the tropics. But as we move on toward the end of the month, conditions will be so that we get what's called a gyre that's going to develop down here across the extreme southern Gulf of Mexico, the Bay of Campeche down there near Mexico, and Panama and Nicaragua, that area of low pressure Typically, it's where we look to in late June to spawn tropical development as conditions will be favorable for tropical development down across this region of the southern Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. So we will deal with that when we get to that point. But just to let you know, this is where we're going to be kind of monitoring more closely for that tropical development. Here is our water temperatures across the Gulf right now. Temperatures in the low 80s, so favorable temperatures for tropical development. We just have a lot of other things going on in the atmosphere that's kind of keeping a lid on the tropics for right now. So as long as we can keep frontal boundaries across the southern US, 
maybe areas of low pressure, upper level lows, or um, high pressure is what you want overhead for tropical development because highs keep things calm. Lows keep things kind of upheaval and they don't like that kind of upheaval and the, the kind of activity in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So with that being said, that's the weather forecast for this week. My name is Mr. G. Uh, join me about midweek as we do another video. I don't have time to do a video every single day because Mr. G has a lot of homework and I have a really long work day and commute. And commute sucks. I really wish I could work from home, but that's not how it always works when you work in IT. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, and feel free to subscribe. And now this is the third time I recorded this video because of sound issues. So. Hopefully I've changed to a different mic and maybe I won't have the sound issues, but this time I promise if it ain't right, you guys are just SOL, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.